welcome to yet another tutorial by Davies Media Design. My name is Michael Davies and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a custom splash image for GIMP. And for those of you who don't know what the splash image is, let me just show you real quick. So I'll type GIMP here and just open up GIMP on my computer. And as GIMP's opening, here is where the splash image is going to show up. So there is the splash image right there, it says GIMP 2.10 and then GIMP goes ahead and opens up. But of course, before I get into that, I'm gonna direct you guys over to my website at daviesmediadesign.com. As always, we have tons of GIMP video and text tutorials on here, so definitely check that out. You can also enroll in our best-selling GIMP photo editing course from beginner to pro photo retoucher on Udemy, and you can support our channel and help us grow by becoming a patron on Patreon, and you'll get some awesome GIMP extras in return, and of course, I'll include a link to this as well as all the relevant links from this tutorial in the description of the video. So this tutorial, is actually one that was released to my patrons about a week and a half ago so they got early access to this but it's a pretty simple tutorial and it's just a cool way to customize your GIMP so I'm going to start by opening up the splash image that I designed ahead of time so here is my splash image I'll just right click and go to open with and choose GIMP or GNU image manipulation program so here is the splash image that I want to replace the current splash image with so what I need to do is I need to delete the old splash image or at least rename it and then I need to add this image into the same location where our current splash image is. So to do that I'll need to open up a file window. So I'm just going to open this up into my desktop. And then I can come over here to my C drive. This is where I downloaded GIMP. And I'm going to come over to Program Files, GIMP 2, Share, GIMP. 2.0 and then I'll come down here to the folder named images so here is the directory where you need to go you need to go to the C drive program files GIMP 2 share GIMP 2.0 images so just follow that and that'll take you into here so you'll see we have an image here named GIMP splash and if I click on this this is actually a JPEG and this comes with GIMP by default this is what shows up on your GIMP when you first open it up so I'll just close this out and you'll actually see that this is a fairly large image. It's set to 3.19 megabytes. So that to me is actually a pretty big image. So the uh, image I'm gonna replace this with is going to be a lot smaller than the original. And I think that should help speed up uh, GIMP when it's opening up. And you'll see by the way that my image, uh, the custom splash image I designed is 1920 by 1080. And if I right click on here and go to properties and then come over here to details, you'll see this one is also 1920 by 1080. So I just made my custom splash image the same size as the default. But what I need to do right now is right click on this and go to rename. And I'm just going to change this to GIMP splash two. And the reason I'm doing this is because the code in GIMP right now is calling for a file that's named GIMP splash. And so by changing this name, it's no longer going to call this image when the code is calling it. But I do need to replace this with a GIMP splash. And you'll also notice when I hover over this file that it's uh, actually a PNG file type there. So this is not a JPEG and that means that your custom splash image has to be a PNG. So to save this as a PNG, all you have to do is go to file, export as, and down here under select file type by extension, Scroll down a little bit until you hit PNG and that'll save this as a PNG image. So it does have to exactly match this file name in order for it to work. And just hit export once you're ready to save this. I've already got this saved so it's going to ask me to replace it. I'll just hit replace and then hit export again. And now if I come over here to where I save that we have our GIMP splash image and it's a PNG file. And I'll open up the file location that we just navigated to as well. So here's the default, here's the new one. I'll click and drag this over here into that location. It's going to ask me for administrator permission. And so I'll just hit continue. And now we have our custom splash image in here. And you'll see it's 280 kilobytes now instead of 3.19 megabytes. And I'm going to come over here to GIMP and just close this out. And I can just minimize these file folders as well. And now when I open up GIMP, it should show up with my new custom splash image. So there is our custom splash image. All right, that's it for this tutorial. Quick and easy. 
Thanks for watching. If you liked it, please subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Davies Media Design. You can also visit our website at DaviesMediaDesign.com. You can enroll in our best-selling GIMP photo editing course from beginner to pro photo retoucher on Udemy. And you can support our channel and help us grow by becoming a patron on Patreon and get some awesome GIMP extras in return, including early release tutorials such as this one. And I'll include a link to our Patreon page as well as all the relevant links from this tutorial in the description of the video. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.